Hello YouTube and TCG fans, this is David here from Carbon bringing you AGBT07 Glorious Bravery of Radiant Sword Card 5 Booster Box. And I ask you guys to check out our channel and subscribe for more Vanguard and other TCG videos. So finally, one of my favorite sets of the G series has come out, which is GBT07. And why? That is one of my favorite sets, is because it supports my two clans, which is Gear Chronicle and Gold Paladin. Other than Gear Chronicle and Gold Paladin, this box does contain the Cray Elementals, the Angel Feathers, Kagaros, Dimension Police, and Dark Irregulars. And introduces the new keywords Blaze, Darkness, Rescue, and Burst. That was it. Right, and obviously the ones we want to pull here is Gurguit. Radiant Sword Gurguit. That's the one we want. It's the most expensive card if you pull it in secret. Yeah, secret. So yeah, without further ado, we'll jump straight into this box for you guys and get on the way. Um, one good news I have to tell you is this is the first box of three boxes. Three boxes that we're opening. So I thought... I would do something extra for you guys because we haven't done Vanguard in the longest time. I know a lot of you are huge fans of Vanguard. So I thought, you know what? We did this with GPT-06. We did this. Well, I didn't I didn't make a video of it back then. I did it with BT-10 and BT-14 where I got multiple boxes. So we are going to do multiple boxes of these as well. So I'm going to get everything out to make things easier and more swift. There we go. Nothing in there? No, nothing in there. So here we go. 30 packs. I'm going to dive straight into this. And of course, you get a promo pack. And this promo pack has two cards in it. And we are obliged to look in it and see which cards we got. Pull this out here. So obviously we got the first one, which is Medical Bomber Nurse. And our second promo is Take Away Dragon from Gear Chronicle. Nice. Okay, that's a good sign. Hopefully we'll pull some uh, some uh, Chrono Fang Tigers. Oh, Jesus. Dowdy, did you do your research? Yes, in fact, I did. <laughs> so here's loads of cards that I want to pull. Obviously Chrono Fang Tigers, one of them. And literally all gold paladin cards because i need all of it oh here we go knight of the faint sun marcia tragic claw crimson lion beast howl and who could forget ezel support oh i love ezel spirit burn kagero and our first rare interdimensional float gear hippogriff okay i need to find a way to make this work yeah on the side there we go all right. And obviously, I want to say thank you to our friends over at chaoscards.co.uk, where all three boxes will come from. So make sure to give them like a, a little thank you next time you purchase. And say thank you for doing that. That was awesome, or anything, just anything. They're they're awesome people. Quiet sleep, calling gear, tape, apex, dragon mage, Kinara, brain valve, dragon, inspire, yell, dragon. And a rare Dawn Gal. That's also a card we were after. That is awesome. I'll show you guys at the end, by the way. I'm just going to go through everything and you'll see all my pulls. And then towards the end, I'll highlight some of the cards I think are very interesting. Obviously, they're going to be towards the ones I'm heavily invested in. Dragon Answer, Marcel, Steam Knight, Mudar, Tooth Edge, Traco Kid, Spirit Burn Dragon. And our rare Dragon Knight Roya. Okay. So, yeah, guys, have you bought GBT07? Anything from packs to boxes to cases, even? Let me know what you guys pulled. And if you guys got lucky enough to get one of those secret generation rares, Gurguits, or the G Guardian for Kagero, is it? It's the other one? Yeah. Dragon Knight Nadel, Cosmic Hero Grand Hob, Enigmatic Assassin, Cosmic Hero Grand Scold, and our rare Radiant Dragon. Kagero making its 
full return in this box along with Dark Irregulars. Apparently Dark Irregulars released on the up and coming now as well. Which I'm happy about because I like it when less uh, popular ones get a bit of spotlight. Bash Gal, and then there's me who's, who picks everything that's popular. <laughs> Steam Fighter, Nanea, Blade Wing, Robbis, Justice Gold, and Triple Rare Interdimensional Dragon, Bind Time Dragon. That is one of the cards I'm after. Awesome. Awesome. Look at that. <laughs> we keep to the side there. Awesome, that's a great pull that we got there guys. Very, very great. Whew. Here we go. Bind time dragon. Oh man. That's a good start. That's a very good start. Alright. Let's continue. Seal Dragon Doskin. Square One Dragon. Requiem Pegasus. Operator Girl Erica. And our rare super giant of light enigma. Cross Ray took my breath away. It took my breath away. All right, we're still going on the right side. Currently, right side has only given us a triple rare. Enigma and Crescent Treatment Nurse, Elegance Feather, Wear Brumba Solidat, and double rare Doctroid Remnon, the perfect guard for Angel Feather. Nice. There we go. Right side has granted us a double rare. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Uh, again, guys, I'm sorry if I'm not straightly showing the cards like I used to, but over the last few videos, we've been doing like kind of the recap at the end, it just makes things a lot easier. Frontal Celestial Mill Edge All. It's also like um, because of that. People can just skip to the end it's for people who just want to see the end, really. And a rare Cosmic Hero Grand Drifter. Because some, yeah, like some people just don't like watching it all. They just want to see it pulls. So that's why I just usually speed it up. And at the end, I'll just do a recap. So yeah. There we go. Next pack. Serrated Draco Kid. Steam Fighter Atab. Snow Elemental Yako. I know that one's a bit popular with the people right now. Steam Scala Lang Lengi Lang Lange. I don't know. <laughs> and a rare Dragon Fang Chain Shots Sutherland. Uh, we're almost done on the right side already. Going quite fast. There we go. Alright. Aquamarine Lion Shite. Right? Aquamarine Lion Shite. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Seal Dragon Barathea. Quiet Sleep Sleep Calling Gia Tapper. Steam Skull Along. And Triple Rare Super Cosmic Hero Eggs Gallop. Triple Rare Dimensional Police. Dimension Police. Alright. There we go. Our second Triple Rare. And it is another great four. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. Alright, let's continue. Oh, da, 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 let it go. Knight of Compassionate Light, Braddett. Menacing Monster, Gold Menace. Black Report, Red One. Enigma and Warm. And our rare Great Cosmic Hero, Grand Mantle. For a rare. I don't know about the whole Cosmic Heroes. I'm still a Dayusha fan. So I like I like everything uh, Dimensional Robo. I think I still yeah I have a full Dayusha deck with Legion and everything. Enigma Squall, Drill Motoners, Cosmic Hero Grand Pickle, Surgery Angel, and our rare Nine Break Hustler. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. Okay, how many packs? Oh, oh one goes flying. Three. Three packs left, boys. On the right side, then we move on to the left. 
every day on hustle. Celestial Emergency Pegasus, Foxy Charmy, Rear Impetta Celestial Armighty, Armiati, Player of the Holy Pipe Gary, and Double Rare Nighttime Gentleman Saint German, G Guardian for the Dark Irregulars. All right, there we go. Strong, strong, strong. The right side of the box, it's making its a, uh, it's, it's in its stride. <laughs> Apex Dragon Mage Kinara, Drain Valve Dragon, Dragon Dancer Marcel, Enigman Warm, and Triple Rare Wings of Recurrence Blade Wing Ragey. This is the main guy of the um, Dark Regulars deck. All right. I think we pulled all our triples now. It's gonna make some room here. There we go. Triple, triple, double, double. And our last pack for the right side. Holy moly. Okay, all triples were on one side. Imagine going into a store, just grabbing the entire right side. So, oh, well, not the right side. And your friend goes, I'll oh, take the left. You pull all triples. Oh god, I feel sorry for your friend. <laughs> he must be like, never doing this again. Spire Yellow Dragon and a rare Blade Wing Terwit, which is a rare perfect guard for Dark Irregulars. Alright guys, now on for the left side, and I don't know how the left side can trump this, unless we pull the secret. Unless. The secret to take it all. Frontal Celestial Melijal, Cosmic Hero, Grand Garly. Grand Guardi, Surgery Angel, and our rare Steam Scholar Emelana for our perfect guard, Gear Chronicle. Right, so yeah guys, this is box one of three. There will be more boxes. So don't you worry. Two more to go. Laser Clutcher KL. <laughs> Sorry to Draco Kid. Steam Fighter Atab. Player of the Holy Pipe Gary. And our rare Black Dream Zabania. Zabania. From Angel Feather. One of my first matches in Vanguard was against a guy who played Angel Feather. It was quite interesting to play against. Snow Elemental Yako. Knight of Compassionate Light Brothered. Menacing Monster Gold Menace. Gold Menace. Inspire Yellow Dragon. And a rare Retractor Sarakil. We continue. Also guys, keep in mind that after the three unboxing videos, there will be a new deck profile video on our Gold Paladin deck. So you guys are up to date with uh, how I change my Gold Paladins. Black Report Red 1, Edigman Squall, Drill Mutinous, Spirit Burn Dragon. And a rare Nurse of Smash Heart. Smash the heart. Let's continue. We still have two more double rares to pull. And hopefully, secret. Hopefully. Cosmic Hero Grand Vickle. Celestial Emergency Pegasus. I'm like moving more and more to the left. Foxy Charmy. Cosmic Hero Grand Scold and a rare Black Bomber Malik. Cute. Very cute. Alright. There we go. Don't want to damage the cards. Good pro tip for you guys who are opening booster packs. Some people just like wave it like this and then just use a scissor. But if you're going to open it in a natural way, with this, just make sure that when you grab a booster pack, you push all the cards to the side, so you have this little like space here. And when you pull it down, it comes down smoothly, and it doesn't damage the cards in any way. Just a little tip for people who didn't know. <laughs> Frosty Steeple, Holy Mage Connor, Parallel Barrel Dragon, 
I love Barrel Dragon. Cosmic Hero, Grand Skull, and a rare Doppel Vampire for our Dark Irregulars. Irregular, please. I keep like pushing the table. Rare Impetus Celestial, our mighty Magical Inspector, Toby Bulgural. Buller Gal, that's, that's the operator girl Erica, and a rare Flame Wind Lion Wonder Ezel. There we go. I need two more of these, <laughs> preferably. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's continue. Let's cards to the side. There we go for safe opening. Safe openings are good openings, people. Blade Wing Sykes. Knight of the Faint Sun, Marcia. Tragic Claw. Where, where Brumber sold that? <laughs> and our double rare. Nibro Steam. Hi, Bro Steam. Rafana. G Guardian for Gear Chronicle. Which is something we always like to pull. We always like to pull Gear Chronicle stuff. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. Alright. So. I think one more double rare. And keep our fingers crossed for the secret. Crimson Lion Beast Howl. Frosty Steeple. Holy Mage Connor. Justice Gold. And a rare Sunshine Knight Jeffrey. I need more of these as well. Need like another three. Yeah. We will see in my deck profile what exactly I'm putting in and. Oh, I'll tell you guys why. Oh, sorry. I had an issue nose. As you guys might be able to tell, I'm kind of coming down with something. Parallel Barrel Dragon. Dragon Knight Nate Nadam. Ooh. Three in the dark. Steam Scholar Lang. And a rare Holy Mage Arena. Which is another perfect guard for gold paladins. Yeah, I'm just trying to... Uh, Get this video out as soon as possible, probably in a couple of days, which should be like, well, it's, the, it's before the weekend now, so somewhere after the weekend, try and get it to you guys, and all the rest as well, obviously, so keep your eyes out for box two and three as well, come burst, vampire, dragon knight, basuit, serpent charmer, where Brumber sold that. And double rare Scarface Lion. Which is the critical from Gold Paladin. And I need four of these. <laughs> awesome. That's a good pull. That's a, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that pull. Sweet. Sweet Lord. Have mercy. Justice reigns from above. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> You can tell I've been playing too much uh, Overwatch. I'm on that Overwatch hype train like everybody. There we go. Alright, we have three packs left. With this one, it's four. Wyvern Strike, Ga Galgi, Combust, Vampire, Dragon Knight, Basuit, Enigman, Worm, and our rare Mask of Demonic Frenzy, Eric Krius. It looks kind of cool. He looks kind of cool. All right, three packs left, guys. Let's do this. Come on, secret rare. We can do this. Or generation rare, something special. I want something special. Serpent Charmer, Bash Gal, Steam Fighter Nanea, Surgery Angel, and a rare Spherical Lord Dragon. All right. Two packs. Two chances, Mom Spaghetti, Dragon Knight, Nadim, three in the dark, Wyvern Strike, Galgi, Operator Girl, Erica, and our rare, Doreen the Thruster. Pussy Road really needs to talk to the English people when they make these names. Ah. Shite. The thruster? Jesus. Come on, Bushy Road. Come on. Last pack, guys. Come on. This is a Hail Mary for a fucking secret. 
I said I said the F word just now, I'm sorry. Blade Ring Robbers <laughs> Aquamarine Lion Shite Seal Dragon Barathea Prayer of the Holy Pipe Gary and our last card Double Rare <laughs> So it's six double rares Nice Dare You are keeping up to date with this stuff Escort Dragon Attendant Rias for Kagero Perfect card sorry I need to mention that perfect card thank you all right we'll do a recap now we'll go from uh, what I consider like least interesting to most interesting kind of yeah there we go all right so for our recap Scarface Lion which is a critical trigger for gold paladin here is the artwork There we go. And the effect is... Oh, alright, alright, alright. I know you want to go, but <laughs> bear with me. Put this unit into your soul. When your Vanguard attacks, if you're a Vanguard with Gurgawit in its card name, you may pay the cost, and if you do, draw a card, choose one of your Vanguards, and it gets plus 5,000 until the end of that battle. Not much to explain why that one's good. It's a critical trigger. It has a nasty good effect. Then obviously, you have... I might as well do them together. Two perfect guards. One is for Kagero, one is for Angel Feather. Both of them do the same thing. They are Sentinels. There we go. They are Sentinels. This is our Kagero chan. Super Kawaii. And stuff like that. There we go. And you have the other Kawaii. <laughs> Angel Feather, Dr. Ramnon, Doctoroid Ramnon. Also Super Kawaii. Both of them have the effect, obviously, they can stop an attack, and it cannot be hit until the end of that battle, and each of their secondary effects are different, and that one for the Kagero is Blaze. Now, for people who don't know what Blaze is, it's explained on the card, so I'll just write it off the, read it off the card. At the beginning of each of your attacks, if you have more rear guards than your opponent, your vanguard becomes blazing until the end of turn generation break one soul blast one yes soul blast one at the end of the battle that this unit boosted if your vanguard is blazing you may pay the cost and if you do return this unit to your hand that's really good it's a free it's a free 6k boost and you can put it back in your hand for defending so when you're attacking you can have them out when you're defending you have them in your hand it's always good and then obviously for the Angel Feather one, let's put this one to the side, there we go. Angel Feather one is Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1. When this unit is placed on the guard zone, if you have a face-up card named Dr. Roy Remnon in your damage zone, you may pay the cost, and if you do, choose a card from your damage zone, heal it, choose one of your vanguards, and deal one damage. There you go. That's Angel Feather for you. These are some strong new perfect guards that they are bringing out. It's always nice with these extra effects. So next one is... I was literally... I forgot Nighttime. I just literally straight went to Gentleman. Nighttime Gentleman Saint-Germain. And he is a G Guardian for Dark Irregulars. This is how the G Guardian looks like. Is camera focusing? Thank you, Steven. Camera's called Steven. <laughs> Obviously, a G Guardian usable usable when both fighters' vanguards are greatly greater, and the number of face-up G Guardians in your G zone is three or less. Opponent turns guard step. Choose a card with heal from your hand, a heal trigger basically, and discard it. And call this card to your G zone from face down. When this unit is placed on the G on the guard zone. If the number of cards in your soul is 10 or more, this unit gets plus 10,000 until the end of that battle. And if the number of cards in your soul is 15 or more, choose any number of your units and until the end of the turn, they get the following effect, resist. Vanguard, rearguard, and guard. Resist. <sighs> Again, it's a very nasty card. Very strong card. I would, I would run... Two of them? Yeah, that, that's what usually people run now. They run four G Guardians, and they're two different ones. I just nudged my camera. Okay, didn't make that much difference. Right. 
Next card, which is Hybro Steam Rafana for Gear Chronicle. Obviously, it's a G Guardian as well, and you pay the same cost by discarding a heal trigger from your hand. When this unit is placed on the guard zone, choose one of your great ones or greater rear guards, you may return it to your deck, and if you do, search your deck for up to one great zero card, call it to the rear, shuffle your deck, and if you call the card, this unit gets plus 10,000 until the end of that battle. So it's really nice, you can combo it with another effect, you can actually run another um, starting vanguard with this effect, and that starting vanguard would then chain into something else as well. So you, it, it gives chaining opportunities when they say like you need to call a grade zero or even like some triggers like for example Scarface Lion but obviously they're two different clans so don't do that don't, don't go to a tournament saying like yeah Carbound told me to yeah just just take it up with them really <laughs> now for our triple rares Wings of Recurrence Blade Wing Ragey Soul Blast 15? is that 15? is that the ridiculous? yes 15 Soul Blast 15 cards. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have a card named Blade Wing Ragey in your soul, you may pay the cost. And if you do, this unit gets plus 15,000 damage and plus 2 critical until the end of that battle. <laughs> Counter Blast 1 and choose 3 cards from your hand and discard them at the end of the battle that your grade 3 Vanguard with Blade Wing in its card name, that name, not named Wings of Recurrence Blade Wing Ragey attack, if the attack did not hit during that battle, you may pay the cost. And if you do, write this card as standing. So again, it's, a, it's an insanely good card. Like run four of those and just let your dark irregular muscles flex, really. <laughs> then for our next one, which is a grade four Super Cosmic Hero X Gallop. It's a generation stride card. And the effect is generation break two and counter blast one. Choose a face down card name from your Jesus. Alright guys, um, just to quickly recap, my camera did fell off because it just ran out. I don't know why. It, it told me it wasn't going to, but it betrayed me. <laughs> the last thing I remember is, I was about to explain this card. So we're just going to pick up where we left off here. And again, I, my apologies, I, I will edit it as smooth as possible. <laughs> so, um, our second triple rare is Super Cosmic Hero X Gallop, which is Generation Break 2. And counter blast one and choose a face down card from your G zone and turn it face up. When this unit attacks a vanguard, if this unit is 35,000 power or greater, you may pay the cost. And if you do, this unit gets drive plus one until the end of that battle. If this unit is 40,000 or greater, all of the rear guards in your front row now get plus 4,000 4, for each face up card named Super Cosmic Hero X Gallop in your G zone until the end of turn. It's a crazy good card. It's crazy good. I saw it in the anime in action and I was like, holy shit, when that thing is going to hit uh, TCGs, like the, the card game when it comes out, holy moly, that will do something for Dimension Bullies. Then the last one, which is my favorite pull from this entire set, from this box that we just got, which is an interdimensional dragon, Bind Time Dragon. Obviously, it's a generation stride. This is how he looks like. He looks really boss. I like him. Gonna run probably two of those? Yeah, two of them. Good call. <laughs> Generation Break 2, Counter Blast 2, Soul Blast 1. And choose a face down card named Interdimensional Bind Time Dragon from your G Zone and turn it face up. When this unit attacks, you may pay the cost, and if you do, choose one or more of your rear guards, bind them face up, and this unit gets plus 10,000 and plus 1 critical until the end of turn. For each card in your bind zone, your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards, puts them on the bottom of his or her deck in any order. If you have a Gear Beast Heart card, Soul Charge 2 and Counter. Wait. Unflip 2 and Count and Soul Charge 2. Oof. That was it. So obviously it's a really cool card, and you're pretty much going to run a lot of Gear Beasts. I think Chrono Dran is one, and the Starter and one here as well. There's loads of them. Anyway, <laughs> not just Great Zeros. But yeah, this is a really cool card. I would suggest only running two of them. It's probably what I'm going to do for my Gear Chronicles. And it's just a nasty effect. Like, it really makes your heart, like your soul stronger. And some cards can use that in this uh, in this deck. 
and for Gear Chronicle, that is. Ugh, I'm ranting. <laughs> All right. Uh, so these were my polls. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please smash that like button if you like hearing me half sick and ranting. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible. Um, I am so sorry if it, listening to me was annoying. <laughs> Again, guys, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more of these. There's two more boxes coming, guys. Two more of GBT07. And they're going to come probably the following days after. I'm going to do it like one day each. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Again, and I'll see you guys in the second box opening. I do. So you don't care about the money? Well, yes, it's true. And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny. All material things can mean less.